In the next several videos, I'm going to be giving you pieces of information about a line, and it's going to be your job to write the equation of that line. Now, we're going to start off pretty simple, but things are going to get a little bit more complicated. So let's start here. I want you to write an equation for the line that has a slope of 9 and a y-intercept of 0, negative 4. Now, most of the equations that we come across, most of the lines we see, it's best if we start with the slope-intercept form. So if I start with y equals mx plus b. Very quickly, I pretty much have everything that, I, everything that I need for this because you were given your slope, which is 9. You were given your y-intercept. And remember, that when we talk about y-intercepts, they are given of the form 0, comma, b, which means this is my b value right there. So we can say that our answer is y equals 9x minus 4. There we go. So y equals 9x minus 4. Now, this is good for being in slope-intercept form. But what you're going to find out is that sometimes the problem wants you to write your answer in standard form. Now remember, standard form means you have both the x and the y on the same side and your constants on the other side. So let's rewrite that over here. So y is equal to 9x minus 4. So to put in standard form, we need to move this x to the other side. So let's subtract x, or subtract 9x, I should say. And we have negative 9x plus y equals negative 4. And one of the things we need to know about standard form is that, of course, x and y are on the same side. They also don't want to have any fractions, and they typically don't want you to have a leading negative coefficient, which means the negative here is really no good. So we fix that just by dividing everything by negative 1. So when we do that, we have 9x minus y equals positive 4. And so this would be your answer in standard form. Now, if you're working with me, if you write your answer in slope intercept form or standard form, I'm going to be thrilled. I don't really care. But you've got to make sure that you pay attention whenever you're doing these problems in my math lab, because my math lab does care. All right, this next example, which we saw creep up at the end, you have a slope of negative 7 thirds and a y-intercept of 0, 134. So just like we did above, Let's start with that slope-intercept form and see if we have all of the information that we need. Well, you can see we have the slope and we have the y-intercept, 0, 134. So that gives me the b value automatically. So if I'm just going for the slope-intercept form, I can say that y is equal to my slope, which we know to be negative 7 thirds times x, and then plus my b value, which is 100, 34. So there really isn't a whole lot to do here in this problem. Unless the problem says, okay, then you're so smart, why don't you rewrite this guy using standard form? So let's write this over here to the side and let's see if I can take this slope intercept form equation and put it into standard form. Well, first things first is you want to move that. Uh, move the variable term, move the x term, excuse me, over here to the left side. All right, so when we do that, we have 7 thirds x plus y equals 134. So we just mentioned there are two things we don't want to see for standard form. We don't want to see a leading negative coefficient, so we're good there but we also are not supposed to see fractions, so we need to clear the fraction away. So we're gonna multiply everything here times that LCD of three. All right, so when I do that, these threes are going to reduce, and I'm left with seven X, and then three times Y is just three Y. Three times 134, gives us 402. 
All right, so there's slope intercept form, there's standard form, and you just have to figure out which one is going to be best for you. Personally, I don't care. I just want an equation that's going to satisfy these conditions that you have that slope and you have that y-intercept.